friends and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about toilets. Woo, the crowd goes wild. No, but for real, for the longest time I dreaded cleaning my toilet, not just because, well, it's a toilet and like, ew, but because I always found the toilet so hard to clean. Not only are they like dirty and yucky, but they have so many little crevices and cracks and then there's hard water stains and I always just felt despite my best efforts, it never really felt that clean afterwards. But I have found a few quick and easy tips that have made cleaning my toilet so much easier and so much more effective. And legit, it looks and feels super clean when I'm done every single time, which is seriously so satisfying. So let's head to my bathroom and check out my toilet. You can add that to things I never thought I would say on the internet, to be honest, but being a YouTuber is strange. So alas, onto the toilet. Okay, so the first thing we're actually going to do is clean the tank. Now, I don't do this every time I clean my toilet. This is something I do maybe once or twice a year. But if you've never cleaned your toilet's tank before, you might be surprised how gross it is. So the one that we have in our main bathroom isn't too bad because I do clean it regularly, but you can see there is still some like junk built up on the sides. And when there's yucky stuff in here, this is the water feeds into your toilet. So yuck in here means yuck in your toilet. Luckily, I have a super easy, no scrubbing, hands-free way to clean this tank and all you're going to need is some citric acid. And it's pretty easy to find this stuff if you've never used it, it's used for all sorts of stuff. I just got it on Amazon. But you're gonna use about a half a cup to a full cup of this. And you're going to start by emptying the tank of your toilet. So you shut off the water. You can find like the little twist to shut your water off usually at the bottom of your toilet. And then flush the toilet. This will drain out as much water as possible. Then you're gonna pour in your citric acid. Lastly, follow that up with some super hot water. I'm just using some water from my tap because our tap gets super hot. But you could also boil some water ahead of time, whatever works for you. Now, you wanna leave this for about an hour so the citric acid can do its thing. So while this sits, we can move on to the rest of the toilet. Obviously, I'm gonna start by just like wiping everything down, but the tricky parts about toilets are all the cracks and crevices. And this is where that like yucky stuff settles. And if you can't remove that, it often can be the cause of um, bad odors in your bathroom. So I have two little tools I like to use every time I clean my toilet. And the first one is actually a butter knife. This is the perfect tool for getting into the cracks and the crevices. I just take a paper towel, I wrap it around the butter knife, and then I can easily and effectively get into all the tight spots. And this is really great because you can get at the dirt and grime that you wouldn't be able to get at with just regular paper towel. And even if it's just a little bit, sometimes you're not getting tons of junk, but even the tiniest bit of junk in there can be the cause of bad odors in your bathroom. And you will find cleaning your bathroom this way and getting it all to the cracks and crevices really helps improve that. Now for other tight spots, specifically hinges and screws, I like to use a Q-tip. Now a toothbrush works really good too. Sometimes it just depends on the type of toilet you have. I like the Q-tip because I'm able to swipe into the tighter spots that the butter knife can't get into. So I just spray my area down really well with my cleaner of choice. Then I use a Q-tip to scrub away. Again, you can see I'm able to get down to that some of that dirt and grime that I wouldn't be able to with just paper towel. And it's not a ton, but it's worthwhile to get it. And I feel like I just need to stop here for a second because I know that the way I'm explaining this, it may sound like a thousand million steps, but the truth is this is way faster and more effective than what I used to do, which was just try to scrub everything with a plain paper towel. I usually spent twice as long trying to unsuccessfully scrub away grime from these hard to reach spots with my hand and a paper towel. Now with just these two tools, it literally takes maybe 60 seconds for each thing and it's way more effective. And while we're on this note of getting into little hard to reach spots, one trick I love to use is the clear nail polish trick. Wherever on your toilet you have exposed holes or screws, consider using a little clear nail polish every like three to six months and it's going to prevent the yuck from getting down into those little holes and crevices, making cleaning it a lot easier and preventing the germs and odors from building up. Okay, let's move on to the toilet bowl. Now for me, I think the worst part of cleaning a toilet is when the toilet bowl gets water rings in it. This toilet that I have is not too old, so the water rings aren't too bad, but even still you can see a slight dingy ring where the water hits. And in my opinion, things like water rings or water stains is one of those things can just make your toilet look so dirty. Even if you spend like 20 or 30 minutes scrubbing it, it's so irritating and I found the best trick for that and that is the scouring sticks. These things are seriously like magic. You just take a little light scrub, it melts away the hard water stains. So I take it to the area around the water where like the water stain ring usually shows up where the water hits in the toilet. And then I find you can usually get stains along the top where the water like drips down into your toilet. So I gently scrub there too literally takes seconds and it makes the hard water stains disappear. Then I just follow up with my toilet wand. I personally love the Clorox 
a wands because they're so stinking easy. I keep one by both my toilets. I just whip them around the toilet really quick once a week. Here you can see how it looks. You can see any water rings are totally gone. All right, my friends, we are almost done with this toilet. It is time to just move back to the tank. I went ahead and left this for an hour. Like I said, I even put a little love note on it so nobody in my house tried to use it with the water turned off. And as you can see, the water is pretty murky, so hopefully it's done its thing. All we're gonna do is turn the water back on and then go ahead and flush the toilet. You may need to flush it twice or three times to cycle it all out. And then you can see right away, all the crud that was on the side is basically gone. This was with no scrubbing, you guys, just some citric acid, a little hot water. I love this. Now, since this tank wasn't super dirty, I wanted to show you this on the guest bathroom, which I've actually never cleaned the tank in our guest bathroom before. We moved in like a year and a half ago and I've just never done it. Oh my God, it looks disgusting. So we're gonna turn the water off, drain the water, add the citric acid, hot water, wait an hour, and let's take a look. Oh my God, you guys, it looks so much cleaner. It's amazing how much it cleans without any scrubbing. Now, if your tank is extra gross like this one, you can do it twice back to back to get it extra clean. All right, my friends, that was my best tips for cleaning the toilet. Like I said, I know some of it seems expensive, but honestly, when you're doing it in real time, it honestly takes me like five or seven minutes minus doing the tank. Like I said, I only do that once a year or so. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.